So the Kansas City Chiefs are coming off a major victory against the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Chargers are coming off an amazing victory as well over the Las Vegas Raiders. These two teams will be facing each other at Thursday Night Football Action. And I can tell you right now, this is going to be a game of your contender. What's up, YouTube? It's All Pro Sports Talk, the home of Sports Talk. Hit subscribe button if you're new. Also hit the like button. This is the preview and prediction for Week 2 Thursday Night Football. Kansas City Chiefs versus Los Angeles Chargers. This game will be in Kansas City. I expect this to be an offensive of heavy game. Both of these teams are two powerhouses in the AFC. Now, obviously, the Los Angeles Chargers missed the playoffs last season, but they were one game out, and the Kansas City Chiefs went there, and they lost against the Cincinnati Bengals, and they ended up blowing the lead. But I look at this now, the situation to where Patrick Mahomes coming off a five-touchdown game against the Arizona Cardinals, which is a good NFC team. And I'm looking at Justin Herbert having a three-passing touchdown day against the Las Vegas Raiders, and this is just all up in the air right now. This is just a very interesting thing because you're looking at two teams that made some significant changes in the offseason obviously the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be without Tyreek Hill they trade him to the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Chargers went out there and they made some major moves by getting J.C. Jackson and Khalil Mack now J.C. Jackson did not play against the Las Vegas Raiders when the Los Angeles Chargers played him and I do think that he will be able to play this game he's recovering from ankle surgery if he is able to play that'll be a major get but if he's not we'll see I want to start with the Los Angeles Chargers first, if you guys let me. The Los Angeles Chargers are very, very interesting. This is a very interesting team. So they went against the Las Vegas Raiders, and you look at the statistics of the game, and you'll say Justin Herbert's throwing touchdowns to everybody. This man, Justin Herbert, had three touchdowns. He did not throw one to Mike Williams. He did not throw one to Keenan Allen. This man was throwing it to the fullback, running back, and tight end. Which is a good thing because his weapons by committee over there and Justin Herbert looks like a baby Josh Allen with how big he is and how tall he is and how strong his arm is. Obviously, Justin Herbert's coming out here with something to prove and the Los Angeles Chargers are trying to make this division theirs. Obviously, that defense up front with Nick Bosa and then with Joey Bosa, excuse me, and Khalil Mack would make things a very interesting alongside with their already good in the secondary with Derwin James. They're going to try to come after Patrick Mahomes. Similar to what the... Arizona Cardinals tried to do. It just did not work out as well. You're going to try to pressure Patrick Mahomes. The keys to victory is here. Do not let these wide receivers get out in space. And watch out for Travis Kelsey. Now, see, the Kansas City Chiefs find themselves in a very interesting situation because now teams cannot just spot for one person, and that's Tyreek Hill. You have to acquire and try to get right with every target on this team. The Los Angeles Chargers are going to find it very hard to stop this offense, but I do believe in their head coach to be a defensive guru. He's going to try to do everything he can to try to single out and slow down Patrick Mahomes. It's going to be a situation to where you can't stop them from scoring, but you're going to try to contain them from scoring. And I think this is where it's going to start up front. You're going to try to run the football with the Los Angeles Chargers as much as possible with Austin Eckler, but I do believe the big front seven of the Kansas City Chiefs will not allow that. So you're going to try to use time and possession if you are the Los Angeles Chargers. You're going to try to match that super capability of the Kansas City Chiefs. This is one of those rare teams in the NFL that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe offensively with the Kansas City Chiefs with guys like Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Jalen Guyton, and other weapons as well, such as Austin Eckler. The thing is, it limits your turnovers and limits your mistakes if you're Justin Herbert. Obviously, you don't want to throw any dumb interceptions. Over the last couple of games, the Los Angeles Chargers have almost gotten the Kansas City Chiefs, and it comes down to little mistakes like throwing an interception late in the third quarter for a couple years ago. That's what Justin Herbert did. Limit those mistakes and do not give Patrick Mahomes multiple chances. If your team gets a three and out or they take a field goal, you cannot take field goals if you are the Los Angeles Chargers. If you are in a red zone situation and it's a fourth and one and you're close to the goal line, Go for it and try to be aggressive. That's the way you beat the Kansas City Chiefs team. Do not keep taking field goals. Go at them for tick for tack and be aggressive towards Patrick Mahomes. That's how this is going to happen. And Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa have to get at Patrick Mahomes at will. He's a guy that's known for trying to scramble all over the place. And those unscripted plays is what makes him so great. But he's able to run around and do a lot of trickery and a lot of misdirection in the backfield. And he, wide receivers get open and he finds a soft spot in the zones, even in man coverage. So that's what you want to do. You want to try to get him off his spots and try to keep him in the pocket. I know it's crazy to say that, but do not let that man scramble around because it will make it hell on your secondary, no matter how good your secondary is. And if J.C. Jackson is able to play, that would be a plus for the Los Angeles Chargers. On the Kansas City Chiefs side, keep doing what you're doing. 
Do what you did in week one. Do weapons by committee. Try to run the football a little bit with Clyde Edwards Hilaire, but you can get him going in the receive game in the red zone like how they did in the week one against the Arizona Cardinals. Try to get Travis Kelsey going as soon as possible, and he will be doing that. He's coming off an amazing game as well. They had 44 points against the Arizona Cardinals, so they are a very nuclear team. They're going to try to take a lot of deep shots down the field. Their defense looked amazing than what it did from last season with guys like George Karloff being on the team and LeJarrius Sneed. So they're going to try to come in. They're going to try to pressure and stop the run for Justin Herbert. They're not going to try to sack Justin Herbert a lot. But I look at what the Kansas City Chiefs, what their defensive line likes to do, they like to crowd up front and get a lot of noise up front. And what I mean by that is, they're not out there trying to sack the quarterback. They're out there trying to generate pressure because when you generate pressure, pressure makes a lot of mistakes for quarterbacks. And when you get mistakes, a lot of interceptions and fumbles happen. So you want to try to do it as much as possible. Try to get Justin Herbert to make as many mistakes as possible. And if you can make turn those interceptions and turn turnovers into points, that will help the Kansas City Chiefs out tremendously. Try to protect Patrick Mahomes as much as possible and try to stop the run of the Los Angeles Chargers because one thing that we do know with Austin Eckler he's one of the best versatile running backs in the game he can catch the football and he can run up the gut as well so try to do that as much as possible try to get a lot of receiving weapons going it's going to be weapons by committee I don't know what the Kansas City Chiefs offense is going to be last week it was Travis Kelsey then they started double cover Travis Kelsey and all the other weapons started to go off so watch Travis Kelsey for one and also watch guys like Scott Moore and Juju Smith-Schuster because they can come back and bite you in the butt if you are the Los Angeles Chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers need to try to get aggressive as much as possible, try to make Patrick Mahomes uncomfortable and do not let him get out the pocket too much and get those unstricted plays that he loves to get. Ultimately, I do believe the Kansas City Chiefs will win this game. I think this is going to be a high scoring game. I think this will be 35 to 28. I think they lose about a touchdown. I think the Kansas City Chiefs will come out and they will start 2 0. And the Los Angeles Chargers will be 1 1. Now, JC Jackson is able to play and he is healthy. I do believe that this could be a different type of game. I'm going on the belief that he will not play because he didn't play Sunday, but he did practice and he did warm up. If he is able to play, that is a big toss up because this is a man that has eight interception season in his season. Eight. He had an eight interception season once in his career, and he had a nine interception season once in his career. So he can go get the football from Patrick Mahomes. So it'll be very interesting to see if he's able to play. If he is able to play, I may take the Los Angeles Chargers, but I'm going on the fact that he's not playing, so I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs. I think they have too much firepower. It's too much unpredictability. It's very early in the season. So I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs to win this game, but I will not be shocked if the Los Angeles Chargers did win this game. They tried to pull it off as well. So it'll be one of those best games of the year, in my opinion. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. I want to hear who you have in the comment section. Most importantly, when each and every last one of you guys stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Peace.